हेलो गाइस माई सेल्फ अमृता वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल टेक्नो सीज सो इन दिस टॉप इंटरव्यू 150 फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन सीरीज टूडे विल बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव दैट इज जम्प गेम सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन एन इंटीजर एरे नम्स सो इन एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी वी हैव बीन गिवन वन नम्स एरे यू आर इनिशियली पोजिशन दैट एरे इज फर्स्ट इंडेक्स एंड ईच एलिमेंट इन द एरे रिप्रेजेंट योर मैक्सिमम जम्प लेंथ एट दैट पोजिशन Return true if you can reach the last index or false otherwise. So let's understand it with the example. So we have been given one nums array that is two, three, one, one and four, and each element, each element is the jump length of that position. So here. number is 2 so that means from 2 you can take two jumps from 1 you can take one jump from 3 you can take three jumps right so here you can see if you from 2 to 3 how many jumps can you take you can take maximum of two jumps but you can also take one jump so if you take one jump you will reach here and from 3 how many jumps can you take three jumps right so from 3 if you take three jumps you will reach at the last index So if you reach at the last index you can return true if you can't reach at the last index let's say the other example which is 3 2 1 0 and 4 so from 3 how many jumps can you take three jumps 1 2 and 3 so from 3 if you take three jumps you will reach at 0 now from 0 how many jumps can you take only zero jump that means you can't take any jump that means you can't reach at the last position and then you have to return false right so now how we will check whether we can reach at the last index or not let's see so our number is 2 3 1 1 1 and 4 right let me write the indexes also so this is index 0 from 1 2 3 and 4 so you have to reach at the last index right so you have to reach at the element 4 so what is your last position last position is 4 so what we are going to do to reach at the last position firstly we will check whether we can reach from 3 to 4 we will traverse back so firstly we need to check whether we can reach from index 3 to index 4 so from index 3 how many jumps can you take you can take one jump right that means you will reach at the next index so from 3 you can take one jump so you can reach at 4 right 3 plus 1 is 4 which is equal to 4 that means you can reach at 4 either it should be 4 or it should be greater than 4 right even if it was two jumps let's say instead of one it was two so how many jumps can you take two jumps right so that means 3 plus 2 was 5 which is greater than 4 then also you can reach at the last position right so let's remove it so now you know that you can reach from index 3 to index 4 so that means can you update your last position now now but we have to see whether from start index we can reach here if we can reach from index 3 to 4 we need to check whether we can reach from 0 to 3 that means let's update your last position as because now we have to see whether we can reach at index 3 right so we will check whether we can reach from index 2 to 3 so from index 2 we can take one step from index 2 we can take one step that means we can reach at position 3 right so we have reached till here now we have to check whether we can reach from index 1 to 2 at index 1 how many steps can you take three steps so 1 plus 3 is 4 correct and your last position is now 2 4 is greater than equal to 2 yes right so that means you can reach at index 2 as well again move to the next index can you move from 0 to 
right so from zeroth index how many steps can you take two steps that means you can reach at two which is greater than equal to one right so that means you can move from zero to this position and keep updating your last position as well so if in, you can reach from 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 that means you can reach from 0 to 4 right so you can return true correct now let's write the program for it so this is your class jump game now let's write the method public static boolean because it is going to return true false we can say can jump and your input would be numbers array so now what you are going to take you are going to take your last position right last position would be your last index right nums dot length minus 1 now you are going to write our loop which will be started from the second last element right here you can see we have started our loop from this element which is nums dot length minus 2 i greater than equals to 0 i minus minus correct and we need to check if i plus nums at i is greater than equals to your last position then that means you can reach at that particular last position then you will update your last position as index i correct and at the end you will say return last position is equals to 0 so that means if the execution of this block is successful it will return true otherwise it will return false right now let's go back to our class and let's write the main method public static void main string args and let's take the nums array as 23114 correct now let's write our print statement system dot out dot print ln can jump nums right let's run the program and see the output so you can see here the output is true that means you can reach at the last position now let's test it with another example as well which is 3210 and 4 right so it is returning false because because we can't reach the last position right so this is how we need to solve this problem let's copy the code and paste it in the lead code as well let's paste it here so let's paste the program here so let's run the program so it is accepted and run time is 0 millisecond so you can submit the code so it is submitted successfully i hope you understood the solution if you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comment section and stay tuned for more such videos thank you so much for watching